Okay, this is Temple OS 5-Minute Random Code Walkthrough, Episode 83, and I'm your host, Terry Davis. And today we are in... Oh, isn't that special? Okay. Um, this is a optimization on uh, text documents. Uh, this is an excellent place to start if we want to... Uh, this, is a, this is an excellent uh, teaching okay uh okay so uh what we have is a utility that uh you give it a uh, doc opt you give it a file mask and it uh it sets the flag for recurse and text files only everyone needs to one of the first things you have to get familiar with is well the find files uh routine find files you have uh, when you when you want to look for files that match a name in a directory, um, you give it uh, flags. Usually, all, all the utilities that use this, uh, you can give them flags for uh, plus R is recurse. That's go. That means to send into the directories um, all the subdirectories, and then all the sub subdirectories. Anyway. Uh, my uh I, I have the the ability to filter to limit to just text co text files source files ahead of time just in time graphics files anyway uh so uh um so what this does is uh this first sets flags turns on the the r and the t and then it sets the flags based on the text that you um when you do this file, uh, the argument, you give it a text argument. So, for example, you might say at the command line, well, let me, uh, you might say uh, doc opt, well, you, you're probably going to do it on all files, slash star, comma, and then you give it options. You, could, you can turn off recurse since that's turned on by default and you can turn on uh, just in just in time something like that anyway uh, so then it uh, calls this routine and it passes uh, you know I wonder why I made a oh that's why okay so it passes a uh, um, a uh, find files is a uh, um, Find files gets the uh, the the files in a mask, and so it makes a, a linked list. Uh, it it returns a linked list of directory structures. So a, a directory entry has a link to the next one in the chain. It goes up to the parent if there is one, or it goes to subdirectories. So when you the way you traverse a linked list is you uh, you you do you do a loop with. Uh, so this will uh, traverse a linked list, uh, uh, and then as you're going, you traverse down. This is recursive, and you do the subdirectory, and then it's gonna when it gets to this point, it's gonna jump in, and now it's um, into itself, and now it's doing the linked list again. So that's how you traverse a uh, tree. Anyway, um, we delete the entry with uh, that it. Find files gave us the entry, and we delete it here, and we we get the next one ahead of time before we delete it, so that we um, you don't access it after you delete it. Anyway, uh, so uh, now each we process each each directory. If it's if it's an attribute directory, you don't process you you uh, recurse. If it's a file, you um, you call optimize file and uh, we're giving a it returns a count of changes I do believe that's the number of optimizes and so this optimizes a file now in Temple OS someone said in, in, in Unix everything's a file in Temple OS everything's a document the command line is a document that we're editing the uh, the everything you see is pretty much a document 
And um, so you need to learn this document format. It's a linked list, a circular linked list. And uh, anyway, we read the whole document and this gives us a, uh, a uh, okay, we, we call op optimize, optimize document. And we print the, uh, the number that we, if, if we got some changes, then we write the document, then we delete the document. So here's how we traverse the document. We start at the root. I don't like the word head. Anyway, I call it the root. Most people would call it the head of a queue. I call it the root of a queue. <laughs> anyway, uh, so it has a next and the last. And then we go in a circle around the queue. Just like we, well, it's similar to how we went in the linked list. Except with a queue, you, you search for the beginning. When you get to the beginning, again, that's the uh, end. Anyway, so when you get back to the beginning, that's the end. It's a, it's a circle. So uh, now we we optimize a document entry. So the documents uh, have uh, well, it's so the documents have uh, a type for each uh, entry. So some of where where is the type? Okay, so you can have a text entry, you can have a new line, a soft new line. When you're doing word wrap, it distinguishes soft and hard new lines. The, when it saves the file, it saves the cursor position so that when, when you have an IDE, it'll pull up the file with the and put the cursor in the same spot it was saved. Um, anyway, a tab. A, if you do a clear entry, that will, uh, I can show you what happens. I'm going to do dollar sign, you can't see this, but dollar sign CL dollar sign and it clears it. So if it hits a clear entry, it clears it. That, that almost never happens. Page break. So uh, we can hit uh, control return is a page break. And anyway, um, page length. If you notice this was, it's 66 lines. If you do a page length, control L will do. Um, some of the will let you put uh, let's put page settings. Let's put page length. Let's set it to uh, 20 Now if I say control Control carriage return. We're about 20 lines down about 20 lines down anyway um, Left margin right margin footer word wrap. So getting back to what our business is we want to optimize entries What are some of the optimizations we can do if it's a link then what we do is we uh, we check if it starts with FI. So the uh, one of the other things you have to learn to be a user of Temple OS is uh, the uh, is it in here the link types. FI is a file. FA is jump to an anchor in a file jump to a string ff is jump to a string in a file jump jump to the second occurrence of a string in a file jump to a line number in a file now if it's just a file name by itself that's the same as a fi so uh what we do here is we check for fi and get get rid of the fi if it's a we we see if we can get rid of fi and down here we see if it has a dot z and we get rid of dot z and then when I'm doing this, well, let me, well, when I'm doing this, I, I uncomment these and uh, do some dangerous optimizations. Uh, if my, uh, if my, uh, okay, so, so a link, uh, control T, LK has a tag and an auxiliary string. That's the link. So um, when it, if this document entry has an auxiliary string, this is for entries besides links as, as well as links. And um, so this is kind of dangerous. We, uh, we get rid of the .z because um, as a matter of fact, our file system will search when you, when you try to read a file, it tries to find whatever file name. And then if it doesn't find it, it checks for the same thing with a .z or Anyway, uh, so if it has a .z in the tag, so this is just uh, 
basically all I'm doing with my optimizing is getting rid of fi when it's just a file name by itself and I'm getting rid of some of the dot z's but conceivably we might have more optimizations um, down the road and when they get put in there you would benefit if you see what I what I do when I distribute my uh, actually I don't think I do that do it maybe I do when I make a distribution you know what I don't think I do that um, let me look for doc opt okay well that answers that um, I sometimes okay well anyway so uh, I don't do that I don't do it every distribution but once in a while I uh, I optimize so that's that now what I should show you is uh, why don't we show you uh, that's lovely anyway uh, why don't I show you uh, let's see if we got, how, how we doing on time 11 minutes okay uh, so uh, C doc entry um, star de C all oh, all oh, oh, oh let's that's not what I want to do let's do a uh, C dir entry that's what I meant um, star de the temp I always use the same files files find about uh, slash uh, Adam slash star uh, CPP star that'll work um, and then I say uh, we can say plus R and uh, now what I do is uh, DE1 and then what I do is I go through my list and then when I get done I say dirt dirt tree dirt tree delete okay so I hope it doesn't crash and ruin my video so this will I'm gonna hit F5 and it didn't do anything we got an FUF exception oh you know what that's kind of fortunate <laughs> oh dang we almost screwed up I tried to pass it a text it's looking for a binary flag would I oh I almost crashed my video okay FUF recurse and you know what we do we pass it FUF just files if you say just files it flattens the tree so nothing what happened uh if you oh no no oh 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 no 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 what let's 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 do this oh they're all dot z's that's what it is okay adam slash star cpp dot z okay boy i was getting worried I got a little bit lucky okay so you can see it recursed into subdirectories and it uh we got all the files so we can just play with this let's say uh no file okay let's see you see this uh utils no how about uh you see uh let's say no files that begin with t if we say semicolon tilde this is not the same as unix you know maybe I should change it but anyway no file that begins with uh, how about that wonder what this will do we have no file that has a T anyway uh, it's uh, it only lets you start with one directory so this is kind of a allows Unix is kind of uh, perfect or complex ours is kind of simplified for beginners you can only specify one directory in other words you can't say uh, semicolon and then another directory 
it's kind of a weird you have a single directory and then you have a file mask and you can you can do subdirectories so um this flat this just files actually uh flattens it to us uh just a single linked list otherwise we would have directory anyway this gets rid of directory entries and so uh and then what we did in the uh optimize is uh open up the load in each document we're not going to do that so how about that 